When is the perfect time to go fishing? Simple, any chance you get. And while we can hope for perfect conditions, expect to find something completely different at the boat ramp. Yes, mother nature can be fickle. Dishing out an obstacle course of variables, one might navigate to fish on any given day. Oh, there's one, nice Nice, one. nice, big fish, man. Wow. Oh, wow, there, there's one. Like reduced water clarity after a rainfall, big jumps in water temperature, high or low water, vegetation run wild, or as you're about to see in today's episode of Linder's Angling Edge, floating debris in the form of dead vegetation, stuff that can make fishing many go-to smallmouth bass presentations practically impossible. But what's the saying? When the going gets tough, the tough get going. On today's Edge, Al Linder and Rapala lure designer Mark Fisher chase smallmouth bass as late summer transitions to early fall. Watch as the duo get up in the slop for smallies with hollow-bellied poppin' frogs and use a ripstop on current blown areas, completing a wicked one-two punch. How's that for a brown bass? Does that baby get your attention? <laughs> Woo! Closed captioning is provided by Smooth Moves, adjustable boat seat suspensions for a smoother ride. I got mine here. I got good. I got, oh, he came off. Oh, guy, he's back. Good one. Good one. Big brownie. Big brownie, baby. I guarantee you. Let him come up. Ah, he's coming. Look at that. Oh, I told you. I told you. She's a donkey. I'm, 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 I'm locked down here. Uh, this current is going so fast, Mark. It is. Uh, he's, he's taking off the Come on, boy, he's come, come on. Get, get on this side of the boat. I got him. I got her here, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm, I'm working her down through the weeds, bro. <laughs> oh, she's jumping in back of the boat. It's down around my talon. Oh, man, you got to lift the motor. I got, I got about a four and a half pound smallie, and it's locked down around my motor. Uh, oh, there, I got her. I got her. Look at all the weeds, everything. Okay. This is, you talk about pandemonium. Uh, it's, it's time for you to play through. Okay. Right. Well, I knew this was going to be an interesting day when we looked at the excess. But I said, we got to go anyway, Mark. Oh, that's a beaut. Yeah. Well, you see this one. We did shook off some of the weeds, finally. Finally. Uh, how's that? For a brownie, that's through a little good. bit of pandemonium. We that's good. It's early in the morning yeah. and it gets the blood flowing. <laughs> Did I give you a player player here? Yeah. You got the walleye players. <laughs> you know, we've been out here a grand total of about three minutes. Yeah, you know, trying to figure out how to make a cast. Mark opens up up up, up with a walleye. I said, this is what we're here for. These big brown bass. Absolutely. Mark and I do a trip every single year in late summer, early fall. Let me get her back in the water. Yeah, and we kind of regroup on what our season was like, what's happening in the fishing industry, who's doing what where, and naturally, what are some of Rapala's new lures. Now, Mark's got an interesting job. Longtime viewers know what his job is. His, his, the majority of his career at Rapala has been designing new lures. And I guarantee you, many of you that are watching this show, you got some of Mark's creations in your tackle box. Good, bad, or indifferent. I could hear him say, man, I wish I had a job like yours. Well, we're going to talk a little bit more about your job after we catch a couple more fish. I like that. You can always yak. <laughs> I'm still curious about what those were. Yeah. There he is. Oh, does this one hit like a ton of elk? She'll break up. She's going to be a big one. It's a big fish. This one's a mule, buddy. Coming up. <laughs> Cold weather got you down? <laughs> Didn't think so. In the Midwest, we don't fear weather, 
We embrace it. We live outdoors. We work and we play outdoors. We hike, we hunt, and we fish. This is a winter wonderland and we own it. We were born in the Midwest. We are outdoors. We are Mills Fleet Farm. Many things have been said about rough waters, but few things have been said about a smooth ride. The revolutionary Smooth Moves Ultra is a mechanical suspension system that features a four spring design and a hydraulic shock, providing the most comfortable and durable ride on the market. Through passion, tenacity, and the right equipment, you can overcome even the roughest waters. There's no place like this. Yes! This segment is brought to you by Big Bite Baits, designed to bring the big bite to your line. <laughs> oh, Donkey this? Kong. Oh man, winter can come anytime after catching one like this. Come on, little buddy. Keep the motion going. This is a dandy small owl, jeez. Yeah, I tell you what, letting a bait do the work. And Al just called it out. He said, you throw it up in the seam, let the bait sweep. But when you can get a bait to go to work and make a connection, it's kind of a stamp of approval. You bring it to your buddies and it takes a year, it takes two years to develop a couple of changes, a couple modifications, a couple tweaks. Let the fins weigh in, do their magic. I'll tell you what, there is no better satisfaction in my lifetime than to come up with a concept, play it all the way out, and then come down with a good buddy and catch one. This is, this is cool. I, I, from my heart, this is a cool deal. Al, do I let her go? Yeah, oh yeah. All right, buddy. There he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, he come off. Oh. But the current was rolling. I, I had to drift perfect on that one. They get so much on, uh, when you get fast current going like this, you can almost call the spot if you know how that structure is laid out. Boy, this is a pain. This stuff is a pain this time of the year. Uh, uh, you know what is happening here? In the area that we fish, these shallow rivers like that, that this have a lot of smallmouth in them. And uh, they got this eelgrass, this stuff that's floating through the whole system that you see in here. And in late summer, early fall, you get a couple cool nights and as soon as it starts to cool the water down, all of a sudden this eelgrass starts lifting off the bottom and it's a nightmare. And uh, uh, it takes weeks for it to blow through these systems. And then you could still see our trees in back of me. They're just the hint of them starting to change, change colors. After this all happens and you got to fish through this stuff, then the leaves change and then the wind blows out of the northwest for three days. All the leaves come up the tree, they get into the river system. You look at your hummingbird and all it is is a maze of stuff. And the fishing can get real tough. In a part of the world we fish, it goes three weeks to a month that all of this happens. And if the fish, get, it isn't easy. It isn't easy to fish baits and get them to the fish, but there's plenty of fish to, to catch. If you can get the right bait into the exact conditions you're fishing, you can still do it. The two best baits we got going right now 
are the ripstop in the more open areas like this, and we get in real shallow stuff, stuff the Terminator popping frog. Yeah, you heard me right, the popping frog for smallmouth. When's the last time you threw a frog for smallmouth? When are fishing conditions ever ideal? Well, that's kind of a double-edged sword. The fishing conditions may not be ideal for you, but the conditions are ideal for the fish. Some of the best times to chase big muskie is in the middle of a thunderstorm. The best largemouth bite might be 4.30 in the morning. In a crappies, well, you might have to wait till one hour before sundown for them to get active. Today, we're facing one of those conditions. The smallmouth are in a consolidation mode prior to fall. The only problem is the weeds have blown out the river and it makes it difficult to fish. So we're taking a two-fisted approach. We're using the Rapala ripstop in the more current blown areas. And when we get into the backwater, we roll up our sleeves with a Terminator popping frog. Like we always say, it just takes the right tool to get the job done. The fish are still there and they're ready to bite if you can get a bait in front of them. I like when they, they bite on that. Uh, when they bite on that frog, these big bass on that frog. Yep. With 20 pound test, with 20 pound test suffix <clears throat> on here, you in, in a meat stick, it's nothing to whip these suckers into shape. <laughs> yeah. You feel victorious? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Wonderful. I love it. You know, it's really interesting. Three years ago, uh, four years ago actually, uh, Jeremy and I started poking around with frogs for smallmouth. And uh, uh, when we got on these rivers like we're talking about now, where you get all this eelgrass junk and stuff coming through here, yeah, yeah, you know, we had a hard time. Time, yeah, you know, if you fish rivers a lot, you know, prop baits like a skitter prop, as an example, is a killer in current. And uh, uh, you can't fish it in this kind of stuff. When you got this kind of grass coming through here, it's a killer. You, you can't fish anything. It's a pain. So we started picking up the frogs, and in this case, this case, this is the Terminator popping frog. And uh, we started to throw this in all of these mats and around this junk throwing coming through here, and, and we've just killing these smallmouth on a frog. You ever heard anybody getting lots of bites on smallies on a frog? Well, we really did in these river systems in conditions like this, where you cannot throw another topwater bait. It's impossible. And this thing is just a dynamite, dynamite bait. Yes. Oop. Got that one. Got him that time. What's wrong with that? I don't think this is the animal. Oh, <laughs> well, it's a nice one. It's a very, I'm not complaining. <laughs> That's a good one. paid to put fish in the boat, you don't mess around with the thing that puts fish in the boat. Always use the best line. Whoever coined the phrase, less is more, wasn't much of a fisherman. He probably talked himself into a V6 when he could have got a V8, settled for 100 horsepower instead of 250, and went home empty-handed when he should have doubled down. Introducing the Solix series. From mega imaging to auto chart live to cross touch, Solix has all of fishing's most innovative technologies on our biggest screen ever. Because more is more. Only from Humminbird. Lund Boats has two smoking deals for making memories this summer. Lund 1650 Rebel XS is an incredible boat at an incredible price. This boat is filled with features like side and center rod lockers, aerated live well, and a heavy duty trailer with fold away tongue. Add the optional flip up seating and ski pylon for family fun. Or choose Lund 1625 Fury XL. It has all the fish catching features you'd expect from Lund at a jaw dropping price. For more information and a free catalog, go to LundBoats.com.
The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. <laughs> well, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a beautiful one. What was that, the fourth attempt? <laughs> if that's the same fish. If it's the same fish, right. Beautiful. It is kind of fun with that 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 frog. I mean, frog fishing is always exciting, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what's what's interesting is you're so used to throwing a popping bait or a walking, or a walking bait, bait with bait. treble yeah. hooks, yeah. and when it goes down in junk like this, it's over. You yeah, ain't getting done. the fish. Great English, but you know what I mean. He's not coming out. You know, throwing these frogs in this cover, you just yeah, you, you know, you beef up up everything. I'm throwing a seven foot. A one inch uh, medium heavy power legend tournament ser series uh, St. Croix rod. I can beef them with this. I got 30 pound uh, a Suffolk 832 on here and I'm fishing with a Tatula reel 6.3 6 based reel. Yeah, you know, just this is not a, a finesse thing in, in here that you don't have to worry about line or anything. When you get the bite, you want to get them out of there. It's another thing that you change up angles on these these current breaks. This this shelf we were catching those fish, uh, 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 pinned down on that side with the Ultrax, casting across, floating the bait up up against with the current. And then I, I said when we made a number of casts, I know there's still fish there. So I came all the way to the other end, and the bait is coming in on a different angle to the fish on the structure, and it's like a whole new spot. You'd be amazed at a change on direction with a lure on a particular structure, and it's like a whole new world of fish. This spot lock is the most amazing tool in the whole, the, the spot lock on this Min, Min, Min Kota, uh, my new Min, Min Kota Ultrax. It's one of the most amazing things I've seen in a long, long, long time. I mean, I can sit in the heaviest current, heaviest wind. You go hit spot lock and you just sit here. And there's no messing with anything. It is so incredible. Once you use it, you're screwed up for life. You can't fish without you it. You are. <laughs> you, you know, look at, look at the shape of this thing, particularly the tail. Huh? Look at that tail. Mark added some little teaser colors on the back of this tail along with the lip design. I'm convinced when you look at this thing underwater, you'll see what I'm talking about. That they're zeroing in on that, that little spot on the tail. And look at the action, look at that little shaped lip on the back of it. It makes this bait do stuff that no other bait that I've seen do. You could fish it almost in place and do a lot with it. I'd call it, I'd kind of refer to it as a uh, finesse jerk bait. How's that for a word? It's a real finesse bait, phenomenal hooks, phenomenal. But you know, the whole minnow, the shape of a bait is an important thing. And when you think about shape of bait, Rappel has got a lot of baits that are minnow-shaped baits. It goes back to the original Rappel when it came from Europe to the United States. And I still remember the, 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 the article in the magazine on the original Rappel coming in and how it swept this country, a fish catching machine. We went from the original Rappel, we went to the countdown Rappel, uh, and the list goes on and on. Mark, give us a quick history of all of the Rappel baits that are, have this minnow shape and what each one of them does, because they're all slightly different and serve a purpose. You know, one of the fascinating things about, about developing baits and, and understanding baits and how they move water, because it's all about the action and, and how baits displace water, whether it's a crankbait, which is a round body for the most part, kind of a shad shape. But an elongated minnow-shaped bait is probably one of the most high percentage shapes you'll find that anybody manufactures. But the interesting part about it, you can do a lot with it. What we found most about the development on the ripstop is that by adding this little boot tail, similar to like a swim bait, you know, because we're in right now in that time of period of fishing where swim baits are huge. I mean, they're, they're, they're used all over from saltwater, freshwater, all parts of uh, the country and certainly different regions and certainly all over the world. So it was like, how do we make a hard bait to compete with the soft bait? Well, let's start with what makes soft baits, you know, good and, and what creates the action it's the tail 
Well, we started experimenting with the tail and realized it doesn't only just give action, but it makes the bait stop on a dime. Now you morph that with the jerk bait and you go right back to the original floater, which so many people still say today is one of the greatest jerk baits of all time. Well, all we've done over the years with Husky Jerk, X Wrap, Countdowns, all sorts of different baits right up to Shadow Wrap and certainly right now Rip Stop, it's all about the rate that a bait will slowly sink, slowly rise, or how fast it stops. The Rip Stop, I will guarantee you, other than a concrete wall, there is no way you can stop a bait faster than this particular bait while it's suspended and moving through the water. It's that cool. The Rapala Rip Stop truly stands alone as a jerk bait. This lure has a unique tail design that acts like a parachute on a race car. You can twitch, 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 pause, and that bait stops on a dime. This is a revolutionary presentation asset that triggers fish like no other bait. This baby was originally designed to be a finesse jerkbait for cold water periods, but in classic Rapala fashion, it works all year long for many species of fish. Got him. There we go. Oh, I got him. Oosh. Oh, oh, what a fish. She comes up like that again. That was a jump and a half, man. This is a big fish. This is my spot. Right here. My thinking spot. My fishing spot. My spot, not yours. This is where I go. For release. And for catch and release. Where no one can find me. And fish can't hide from me. This is my spot. And I ain't going nowhere. We need that quarter Yeah? Stop working right now! Look outside. Is this spreadsheet weather? No, it's not. This is fishing weather. So stop clicking, get out there, and catch a bass. Stop what you're doing and start fishing Rapala Ripstop. Here for angling bugs. I'm Tony Road. Brave Rollstone. Lee Talkin here. Brad Durick up here on the Red River. The Muskegon River. Leech Lake. Devil's Lake. Beautiful Lake Vermillion. Black. Top water's been really, really fun. Go to the plastics. Bass like this. A lot of wallies like that. Giant bluegills. From Sturgeon Bay. Lake Sakakawea. Lake Winnie Region. Northern Wisconsin. Good luck, everybody. Have fun. Check us out on the web. Current up to date fishing info from the best anglers in the Midwest. Learn from the pros at anglingbuzz.com. Can't get enough Angling Edge? Wish you could learn more than you saw on TV? You can. Angling Edge DVDs dive deep into fish catching techniques that couldn't fit on air. It's like extra innings or overtime of Angling Edge. Choose from dozens of titles featuring your favorite freshwater fish. Purchase five DVDs at the incredible low price of $25. That's five DVDs for just 25 bucks. Purchase two sets and get free shipping too. Visit anglingedge.com to place your order. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. You know, all the years that Mark and I have been doing this, we've always been for, per, pretty fortunate. We got the show shot all the time, whether it's largemouth or big brownies. Oh, he's got a buddy. Ow, I'm sorry. And uh, the hooking on this thing is something else. I mean, a bait really, really, really hooks. And my buddy, Kurt, who I fish with a lot when we're fishing, he says, Al, fish really like that thing. You gotta know Kurt, he's real kind of a mellow guy. He goes, boy, fish really like that bait, don't they? <laughs> you know, I truly believe that there is always a way to catch fish. Yeah, there's conditions that are bad. We're facing a condition now that this stuff makes fishing really, really, really tough. But you're seeing the quality of fish we're, we're, we're catching. There's always a way to catch fish. The degree of the bite changes a little bit, but the key is to match the bait to the conditions you're faced with. And every time we're on the water, we're dealing with local weather and water conditions. Yeah, you know, you're in this case, 
We're, we're, we're sitting in one of the worst conditions you're gonna face in these shallow weed rivers, but we're still catching monster fish for a couple of different reasons. We got the right baits to do the job with. The frog, which fishes for smallmouth and the seagrass incredibly well, and the new ripstop, which hooks and lands fish in this stuff. We can fish subsurface a good portion of the time, and at surface, we're matching the baits to some really bad conditions. We're fishing hard, it isn't easy, but you're seeing a quality of fish, and it's worth it, baby. It is worth it. You know, every time I see a book that relates to everyday life and how God's Word applies to situations that we all uh, 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 face in life, it gets my attention. Here's two books that I recently read on how we think. This one's by Joel Osteen, and it's titled Think Better, Live Better. A Victorious Life Begins in Your Mind. Now, I'm just going to read you one back, back part. Our mind is like a computer. We program it the way it's going to function. You were programmed to live an abundant, victorious, faith-filled life. That's how your Creator designed you. Then, this caught my attention inside, inside it. Studies show that we talk to ourselves up to 30,000 times a day. There is always something playing in our mind. The scripture tells us to meditate on God's promises. The word meditate means to think about over and over. We need to pay attention to what we're meditating on. A very similar book by Dr. Carolyn Leaf titled Switch on Your Brain. You can see this one really made some, some points with me. I want to read a couple things she had to say right in the very beginning. What you are thinking every moment of every day becomes a physical reality in your brain and body, which affects your optimal mental and physical health. These thoughts collectively form your attitude, which is your state of mind. And it's your attitude and not your DNA that determines much of your quality of life. Last sentence she had in here, if you realize how powerful your thoughts are, you would never think a negative thought. And she's an expert in studying how we think and how things impact our life. And as always is the case, there's something the Lord has to say to make it a lot simpler and a lot clearer. In this case, it's Proverbs 23, 7. For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. I'm going to say that again. As he thinks in his heart, so is he. The Lord makes things so simple. One simple sentence. And I didn't have to read all of this. It was that clear. Hey, I wanted to share that with you because it is so important. How we think has such a major impact on our life. How we look at ourselves in line with God's word. Hey, from all of us here at the Edge, you have a good safe fishing season and we'll see you on the water. Hey, I want to take a moment to thank you for watching. And if you really like what you see, we got a whole lot more. So check us out at any one of these online outlets. You know, in fishing, there are good days and there are great days. Time is just a wink from the Almighty. We plan, target, rig, and play the game like everyone else.